Sounds pretty good, right? Also, she does look pretty good as well, doesn't she? Well, what if I tell you that this is a 200 euros brand new model from Donner? Ciao ragazzi, I'm Danilo and welcome back to another video. If you remember, I had already reviewed the Donner Stratocaster a while ago and I had some minor critiques about the build quality, especially about the sharp frets around the edges and the neck feeling in general. Well, apparently Donner listened to numerous feedbacks around the world and they just came out with this. The Seeker Edition. The Seeker Edition is a new and improved version of their Stratocaster model and as soon as I unboxed it, I actually felt a great step ahead in the right direction. I had this guitar for about a week now and I played it quite a bit off camera. So let's hear some tones and then we'll talk about the build quality and the feeling so we can decide if this new strat for a price tag of just 200 euros is a good deal or not. Okay, now it's time for my honest review of the Donner 2.0. Let's try to answer my four key questions to judge a guitar. How does it sound? How does it look? How's the build quality? Does the price tag matches the instrument? Let's start with how does it sound? As you may have already heard during this video, the guitar sounds actually good. I have no idea which pickups these are. I only know that they are Korean made, but I'm loving the HSS configuration and the possibility to split the unbucker with the push-pull tone knob. One thing I noticed, the neck pickup is actually louder than the unbucker. You can probably adjust the heights of the pickups to solve this, but this is how it came from the factory, so it was worth mentioning it. They are not really high output pickups, but apart from that, I have no complaints. I was expecting the single coils to be very noisy, especially with high gain sounds, but they are not, so it's good. How does it look? You can tell yourself that look doesn't matter 100 times, but we all know that it actually does. As far as looks goes, I absolutely love this color. I think it's stunning in person. Depending on the lights, it goes from light blue to almost a very pale grey with a metallic finish. I love it. I think this guitar will look even better with a light maple fingerboard instead of the dark one and a mother of pearl pickguard, but that's just me. I'm also digging the vintage style touches like the bridge and the tuning pegs. As far as looks goes, approved. How's the build quality? Okay, this is the most important part. It's not enough for a guitar to be good looking. It has to perform and be well built. First things first, as soon as you unbox the guitar, change the strings. The strings the guitar comes in are bad. They, are, they just don't feel right. So I highly recommend to change them. The frets are no longer sharp at the edges. They are very smooth and you cannot feel them. So they really improve that which was one of my biggest concerns. I also did a quick fret polish because I felt them a bit rough when doing a bending, but after a quick polish, they are much better. It plays really smooth and bends are really easy to make, which is great. Like I said previously, I have no complaints about the pickups as well. If I have to find something I'm not enjoying is that the three plastic knobs feel a bit cheap and light, but in case you don't like them, you can easily swap them out for new ones, so it's not a big deal. In conclusion, as build quality goes, approved. I've tried way more expensive guitars from 400 to 800 euros that felt worse than this one. I won't make names, but trust me on that. And last but not least, does the price tag matches the instrument? 
My final answer is no. But in a good way. This guitar is actually a very good deal for the price. If they would have told me that this is a free 400 euros guitar, I would believe them. You also need to consider that this guitar comes with a ton of accessories, including a gig bag and a portable mini amplifier. I once paid over a thousand euros for a guitar that didn't even have a gig bag. So, in conclusion, who I would recommend this guitar to? Beginners, of course. It's a great bundle to start learning how to play the guitar. I would also recommend this to people who like to heavily mod their guitars and make their own. But I feel confident to recommend this guitar also to people that just want a quick and cheap instrument for rehearsal. An instrument to carry around if you want to go on holidays, for example. So you don't have to worry if you bang the headstock, scratch it or chip the paint off the body. If you don't like the color, you can also find it in other finishes, like these ones. Okay, this was my honest review of the new Donner Secret Edition Stratocaster, and I enjoyed it! I actually think I'm gonna mod this guitar and keep it around. If you wanna know more about the Secret Donner, check out the links down in the description below. And for all my fellow Italian friends, hanno appena aperto anche un sito in italiano, quindi ve lo lascio in descrizione. Okay, that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao!